just walked over to the black paint match with shoes and coats. And then down the octave. Just, just and walked came. over. I could love that. Down as Let's hear well. it. Let's hear it. Just walked over to the blackberry patch with shoes and coats. We are so, so thrilled to announce um, that we will be uh, world premiering, co commissioning, co producing uh, a new chamber opera titled The Flood. It's juicy chord progressions. Mm. And you decide what the chord is going to be, you play, you sing, you decide what even the word is going to be, much less the rhythm and the, and the, and the pitch. Okay. <laughs> it's a chamber opera. It'll be around an hour. Um, there's a cast of nine characters, and the topic is the flood of 1913 that happened through the Midwest. It affected not just Columbus, but the entire Midwest. The story talks about trauma and loss and yearning and love throughout generations caused by one significant event that happened in Columbus. I should be out there helping. Everyone's out there helping. It's an opera that people will connect with because they've heard of these people, they've heard of these places. To have that opportunity to use opera to speak to real people about their lives and their environs is, uh, it doesn't come around every day. Yes, it's about a flood. Yes, it's about generations, but it's really about people, individuals who have relationships with their past, with their future, the trauma that is in people's lives, and that to me is the most compelling thing. I think it, this is what people expect now. They expect us to bring in world-class collaborations with folks like Juilliard and Opera uh, America. And the fact that it's about a, a story of incredible importance to the city of Columbus, a flood that happened back near the turn of the century that affected the city. And, and now the city has changed and we've built a flood wall and that whole part of the city is now being developed and there's going to be high-rise buildings there now. So it's important, I think, that people learn the history of what preceded all that, too. I think it's really special that Columbus will be part of the operatic repertoire forever and that it's not just a piece being performed in Columbus with references, it's, it's really the fabric of the community moved into this opera and that will carry on hopefully for generations.